Hey guys, what's up? In this Photoshop tutorial, I will show you how to create a gradient design inside of Photoshop using some very simple steps. So without any further ado, let's get straight into the Photoshop and get started. Alright, so here we are in Photoshop. Let's start by hitting Ctrl N on the keyboard to create a new document. I'll call this fluids, but let's select the preset or the custom preset of 1920 by 1080, 300 resolution and RGB colors. Let's set this to fluids. You can of course rename it to anything that you want. Hit create. There we go. Let's create a nice gradient background. So I'm going to call this BG for background and make sure to select the gradient tool. Then I can go into the gradient tool and select a nice gradient. In this case, I'm going to go with a nice purple gradient you can download the free project file from the description in case if you want to use the exact same colors so i'm gonna hit ok and create a gradient like so so we have a nice looking background as you can see all right so let's select the ellipse tool and create a shape from the center so hold ctrl alt and shift at the same time to create an ellipse or a perfect circle and align it into the center let's rename this to circle underscore oh one now let's start applying our layer style now layer style is the most important part in this tutorial so you can just double click in this area to bring up the layer style and the first thing that i'm going to add is a gradient overlay so i'm going to just click on this now it has automatically updated the previous settings so i'm going to reset this to default so we can you know build this thing again from scratch so in the gradient section, I'm just going to go into this and add a nice gradient. So I'll go with a nice, maybe an off whitish blue. And for this one, I'll go with a nice, uh, you know, something like that. Looks good. Hit OK. Let's change the direction to minus 165 because I think that looks pretty good. And you can play around with the scale, but I think 100 looks absolutely fine. Maybe I'll just tweak this color a bit so I'll move this a bit because I want more of the blue and the less of the white color so yeah this is looking pretty good let's go into the inner shadow and turn that on again it's gonna take the same setting so I'm gonna reset this to default so this is how it yours will look like so let's change the blending mode first of all to color dodge so just click on this and for the color I'm gonna select nice off whitish blue actually Let's increase the opacity and also increase the size really high. So something like this, maybe 100. So that is looking pretty cool, I think. Okay, so that is looking good. Let's go ahead and add one more in our shadow. So I'll select that. Let's go ahead and select a nice, maybe maroonish color for this. So something like that. And change the blending mode to hue. All right. Let's increase the opacity all the way up to 100 and change, make sure to turn on the global light and change the ang angle to 135. Okay, we don't want any distance, we just need the spread so I can start building up a spread just like so. so I'll set this to around maybe 170 should work good. Yep, that looks great. And everything else is looking perfect. Now let's go ahead and add a drop shadow again reset this to default so for the drop shadow i'm going to set the blending mode to normal and add a nice blue color again just like so increase the opacity to around 60 percent and then let's actually increase the distance Maybe somewhere around there looks good and increase the size so we get a nice growing drop shadow. I think 250 looks good. Also add a bit of noise like 2% to avoid any kind of color bendings. And I think this is looking pretty good. Hit OK. Let's go back into the gradient overlay. I think I'm going to punch up the blue a bit. So I'll just go ahead and select this blue. And yep, that is looking much more better, I think. So get a nice you know, darker shade right here. Okay, now what I can do is make sure you select this, hit Ctrl J to duplicate it. So we have a new copy 
right click and convert this to a smart object so we can add some more copies to the soil hit control t to bring up the transform property let's scale this down and then i can start placing them randomly you know in the position just to make a bit spread out then go into effects and um, actually go into filters go into blur gaussian blur and let's set this to around eight i think eight is a bit too much let's go with seven seven looks good hit okay and i can hold alt and drag this to create one more copy maybe place it right here one more i place it here hit ctrl t and increase the size just to add a bit more variation to this looks really nice we one more i place it right here bring down the size i'm going to do, i'm going to doing this i'm doing this pretty randomly you can of course take your time let's place one right here increase the size really high and yeah that is looking great now let's go ahead and add some more um, you know variation in our background so what i can do is make sure you select the first layer and copy the layer style so i'll just copy the layer style then select the curvature pen tool and then you can build up some really random shape to add a bit more variation into the background so i can just create a shape like so select it and paste the layer style so paste the layer style and there you have a really interesting look let's place it at the very bottom and that is looking super cool so let's add one more shape maybe so i'll select the curvature tool and maybe I'll add something like this. You can adjust it, of course, according to your requirements. Let's place it below and paste the layer style. There you go. As you can see, it's looking super cool. So you can play around with this thing. You can create some really abstract shape. Now, I want to tweak the colors a bit because right now it's not looking the way I want it to. So what I can do is let's create a new layer, rename this to overlay and go into the gradient tool. I'm going to select a nice default gradient or maybe let's create one. So I'll select, make this maybe a nice blue color and this one, I'll make it a nice red color. So we get a nice gradient as you can see, let's hit OK. And simply, I'm going to just drag a line, creating something like that and change the blending mode to exclusion. Bring down the opacity really low. I think something like 40% should work good, but it's going to, you know, bring down the saturation a bit. So let's go ahead and add a nice curves adjustment. Maybe tweak this a bit. Just like so. There you go. And finally, I'll add a color balance let's punch up the reds a bit and that is looking good to me now let's go ahead and add some accent to this nice circle that we have so i'll just first of all select them all let's hide the effects select the ellipse tool oh actually i'll select the shape that we have so this circle shape you can change the label of this or maybe color this up to red so you know that this is the main shape hit ctrl j to duplicate this we don't need any layer styles on this so i'm gonna clear all the layer style put this at the back let's increase the size We don't need any fill for this. I'm going to set this to none. And for the stroke, I'll set this to one and white as well. So now we have a nice line, as you can see. I'll just actually rename this to line. And I can also change the label color to something like orange. Hit control J to duplicate it. Select this one, hit control T, increase the size. And I'm going to do this a couple more times. So. So now we have a few copies as you can see let's bring down the opacity of the second one to around 75 third one maybe a bit more like 50 fourth one to around 25 let's go with 30 actually and the last one to around 10. 
now we have a nice fall off as you can see let's select them all hit control g to group them up call this lines and i think i'm gonna bring down the opacity even more just like so there we go there we have the look that we are going for and finally i can add a nice text to this you can of course add anything that you want i'm gonna add fluids let's put this into the center and make this white and yep i think that is all there you go there you have a very interesting liquid background design with some nice gradients in the photoshop so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did then make sure to subscribe to the channel and i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative Peace out.